<clears throat> we are frequently asked what we do in order to save honeybees because that's a big part of our business model here at the Bee Man. We are beekeepers ourselves and so we like to help support local honeybee populations. One of the tools that we use for this job is what we call the Bee Vac here. It was designed by my grandfather Bob the Bee Man and it has survived in continuous existence now for probably over 20 years I would say. It is a wood vacuum design. We have this hose here that we use in order to uh, attach on the top of it to suck the bees out with. It comes out of the top. Almost looks like the Ghostbusters, uh, something from the Ghostbusters movies actually. And if you look at the actual box here, we built a actual hive box that is in the wood here. So the top is a 1.25 horsepower vacuum from Shop Vac. And to regulate pressure, we have this wood that is adjustable. That way we can have, if we have too much pressure, we can back it off a little bit. And if you unlatch it here, it opens up. And inside is a hive box. There's a screen in the side there that gives the bees air in order to breathe. And in the front, this hole corresponds with the hole from the hose coming in. And this can be closed. That way you can move the bees out of there once you fill them up and want to move them into your hive. Now turning this over, the bottom of this hive box is removable. Whenever you want to drop the bees in their new colony, you simply pull that, pulls all the way out, and drop them right in. On the back side here, still have a few leftover bees from the last job we saved, there's a bumper pad here in order to soften the blow from them coming inside in order to increase survival rates. And basically what we do is we cut into the walls where the honeybees are living and we vacuum them out with this and then move them into a new hive for their new homes. And that's how we save honeybees.